quick review how do points work inside of math proficiency development. We have 70 points inside of what I would call compliance or the easy points category. That would include quote unquote tests, which is are you up to date with your Imagine Math lessons and turning in notes with them. Classwork, which is are you present in class and participating with the forms, the polls, the chat, any mini activities that are put out during class. Homework category, that will be yes no tasks for the most parts. Are you turning in your algebra question and answer notes on days we do that? Back to school night form, did you turn it in? It's too late to do that if you haven't yet. Star test, did you take it yet? All of those points, yes might take you some time, yes might cut into your fun a little bit, but they're easy to grab. Just pick them up off the table. Tougher points will be the day-to-day -day assignments that I hand to you. They're all listed here on the screen. If you're chasing an A, this is the same for all your classes, not just math proficiency development. You want to be doing high quality work on time. Commit to no missing assignments. If you're chasing a B, you have the same aims as A. Let us see. If, you, if you're shooting for a C, my suggestion, 56 plus 15 is 71. So if you take at least 80% of the easy points and at least half of the tough points, you can be sitting at a letter C. What does that mean, taking at least half of the tough points? It actually means that most weeks you get two assignments from me. Some weeks you get three assignments from me in the tough category. You actually can, if you're only trying to get a C, you actually can be missing some of those assignments. It is okay to spend two class periods trying to get one assignment done. Mister, all I want to do is pass. My recommendation for you, take 80% again of the easy points, at least 80% of the easy points, and you need to take one out of five tough points. That will translate to 56 plus 6, a 62. This is the reason why everybody who's caught up to date with their imagined math lessons has a passing score right now because they've taken most of their easy points. <sighs> Mister, if it's so easy to just get a passing score, why challenge myself? Why do tough stuff? I'm cool with just a C or a D. Why would you recommend that I still try to complete most of your tougher tasks? I'm going to just hit you back with a question. What do you want out of school? You want a grade? or you want an education.